I think the thing that di- hasn't worked for us is uh, our shared common understanding. I think at some point we thought we were all together. And and, and it's it's true of many movements that, you know, there's a camaraderie, you know, some comradeship that almost tells you that, you know, we are you are you are of one family. But I think we didn't do the analysis. The power the power discussions uh, has been our weakest link. Uh because we don't know where the power is. And we don't invest exactly where the power uh, is, I think. And so in a sense, our tactics fail us there because we, are, we don't do sufficient power analysis. We do this mapping and enumeration, but we don't map power. Uh, we, you know, we, we bring these tools and the science that goes with it, but they, they sort of fall short because we fail to do the most crucial one, uh, which is the power dynamics and and which is what determines what comes to pass and 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 so somehow there were people who were with us and they were not with us and we shouldn't have been surprised that they were not with us i think we should have known if we did uh, you know some analysis and that is what has pulled the movement back now when we look at the urban informal settlements many of us look at those informal settlements as a place where the poor are suffering and you know, and so on and so forth. But within those informal settlements, there's a very active economy, which we don't understand, by the way. And so because we don't understand that economy, we come in with this pristine idea that it should be developed, that you know, and yet because it is benefiting certain individuals, those individuals will fight that kind of change, but they will fight it in our platforms. Uh, And because we are not sophisticated, we will not know uh, you know, that some of the people who are fighting us are exactly within our platforms, but it is because of the power dynamics uh, within the community that they are able to do that. Now, there's this discussion of tenants and landlords, you know, that happens in the slum settlements. We haven't done enough analysis of that issue, where we have tenants who, who are paying certain people, and those people don't own the land. Now, we push this discourse that the poor can save and buy land. I, I, and it, it, it relates very closely to savings, that actually we can save. And in fact, we can buy land from the market. Now, if we, we were very clear about our understanding of land markets and how land markets operate and what provokes land markets, because land markets are driven by political narratives. So it's not strictly speaking, a market in the strict sense of the word. That is why the prices of land are abnormal. They don't make sense. If you have a land in a place that has slums, why should the land be expensive? If it was operating (laughs) in the strictest sense, uh, the way a market operates. And so, because we don't understand the land narratives, we have sort of proceeded with this struggle, the way a landman proceeds in the sea. If you are not familiar with the sea, you are from land. Eh? You think in there you can breathe the way you breathe? <laughs> Out here. So I think we've been uh, a little naive there in terms of that. Sometimes we've also failed in separating tactics from uh, you know, our philosophical underpinnings. And I think that's where we also fail. Because when, if we were clear about tactics and philosophies, then there would be tactics which work in Mombasa. And they're not necessarily the same tactics you use in Nairobi. Yet the philosophies ought to be, you know, the same. We can use buying as a tactic to tell the state that, you know, we are also serious. If it was in the marketplace, then consider us as a tactic. But if that becomes a philosophy across the, 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 the movement, then it, it's problematic because there are places where we can win concessions merely by being uh, using you know any other things i don't want to say brute force but <laughs> <laughs> merely by occupying because we can occupy so you know there are all those uh, dynamics and, and therefore we could use different stands of arguments to do this differently and here we win with buying another place we win with another strategy another place we win with